Making sure Fayetteville keeps its character is a point of a meeting on Tuesday night. Finding Fayetteville is an initiative to maintain the town's integrity amid rapid change. What we have is magic here, and how do we start, you know, as you face such growth, how do you preserve, you know, that authenticity and the magic of Fayetteville as you grow? This is a common question facing towns of all sizes across the country. However, for our neighbor Fayetteville, the National Park designation certainly accelerated the pace of change. We haven't really caught up to the fact that we're a national park and people are still kind of keeping the same way of life that they've always had. But we also, I think, are looking at other areas that have been similar to Fayetteville and they've seen a big boom and we've seen that they've lost some of the magic that they had. And, you know, when you love a place and you live here, you're kind of already looking at, you know, how do we make sure that doesn't happen here? And I don't know what all the answers are to that, but we're at least, you know, it's on our radar. Faced with rapid change, Fayetteville community organizations have worked together to organize Finding Fayetteville. Finding Fayetteville is a community initiative to capture the town's culture and preserve its heritage, and the first of these open meetings is on Tuesday. And our goal is kind of a historical preservation project. We're just hoping that community members will come out. It's going to be more of a little get together with snacks and kind of getting everybody's input. But we want to try to capture the culture and preserve the history of town as we face a lot of growth. This meeting is included under the National Park's Hidden History Happenings Program with support from Visit Fayetteville, the Town of Fayetteville, and Love Hope Center for the Arts. Essentially, these meetings are to help preserve what makes Fayetteville special. And as often the case, it's always the little things. And all of us have at least a couple stories to share. And I think people just think that, you know, like the little things don't matter, but we're trying to get across the messaging that everyone has a story and it's important. You know, it doesn't have to be, you know, that you were the mayor of the town or that you held a certain position. It's all of these little stories are what makes this place unique and, you know, how do you capture that? But don't think it's only stories they're looking for. Not just talking stories. I mean, it might be, you know, a recipe that's been passed down in your family. You know, a photo of, you know, whenever your family used to raft on the river. It can be recreational history. It can be a little bit of everything, you know, just storytelling and folklore history even. We kind of want to, we hope to capture a little bit of everything. So if you love Fayetteville and you want to keep it special, you should probably attend these meetings. The Tuesday meeting will be in the American Legion building at 205 West Maple Avenue from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. It will hopefully be the beginning of a long project. Well, it only works if we get community involvement. We don't want to just say this is Fayetteville's story. We want community members to come forward to hear what matters to everyone that lives here. And it only works if we get community involvement and people that come out and are willing to share their stories or even... If you're not comfortable sharing your story, even brainstorming, you know, ways that we can try to start capturing the history here. Stopping by the American Legion at 6 p.m. Tuesday may be a good idea for another reason altogether. Yeah, and we're bribing with snacks. And I have uh, the, a German chocolate cake from the mayor will be there, and that's really popular. So if we can win people over with, <laughs> you know, snacks, we're willing to do that. Is she going to share her recipe with the... Oh, I haven't pushed that hard. I'm just happy to have the cake. It's important to remember that history isn't necessarily something from long ago. It's actually always being made. And I should also say we're not just looking for things that have happened in the past. We're looking for, you know, history is always happening. So we want, you know, a lot of young folks to hop on board for this. And we want to capture what's happening right now in town with this growth and this boom. Reporting from Fayetteville... News Watch 4.